regular decomposition divides the image into multiple parts. As we have said, uh, the image reading part is going to be same for all the images. So let's first take the image and display the image. Now what we are going to do is we are going to read the image from the user. Once you read the image from the user, we can apply DWT2 which is discrete wavelet transform to it. However, it is two dimensional transform but our image is a color image. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to convert the image into grayscale image first. Let's say I m is equal to RGB to gray I m and let's resize the image. I m is equal to I m resize I m comma say 256 by 256 because that image is a square image because it's going to divide the image into two parts. Also, wavelet transform will be applied on the uh, double data type because it's a group of features. Okay. Uh, there are various wavelets like DB1, DB2, Haar wavelet and so on. So, once we have performed the wavelet transform, once we have performed the wavelet transform, let's display the image. So, Take an image, convert it into grayscale, make it a square image, and we'll apply DB1 transform. Let's see how it comes out. We take an image. Two comma two comma one. I am show u is eight dot c a. First component title. It's the actual component. Similarly, two comma two comma two c a. This is the horizontal component. This is the horizontal component. CV vertical component and CB. Is going to be two comma two comma three, two comma two comma eight. Now, this is the actual component, which is low pass. Okay, uh, we already know from the theory that low pass images will not get any edge information. So you can see that the edge is blocked. Okay. Now for this images, why you are not able to see any traces is because their value weight would be CB. Their value weight will be double data type 0 0.6, 0 0.7. So, so instead of this, what you can do is uh, CA U is 8 absolute of CA. Let's see whether the horizontal component appears or not. Please, max. 
maximum. Now, wavelet transform can apply the filter in the subsequent stage. As you can see that uh, TA1 is our filter domain. Let us apply wavelet transform once more now on image CA1. Okay. So if you apply wavelet transform again on image this is the second level of decomposition. After second level of decomposition if you display this images once more Let's see what happens. So, another level of decomposition. It's only CA. Every time that you continue to decompose the image, it's going to be divided into low pass filter and high pass filter. From this, the information that we obtain are this image, this image. From here, the information we obtain are this image and this image. Now, one of the great thing is that if you now apply, so one stage filtering is enough for us at this moment. If you apply the data cursor, you'll see this value as 255. However, if you apply a data cursor, this ranges will be something different. So subsequently, applying wavelet transform at certain stage, here we are getting the, uh, you know, highest disk at the first iteration itself. Second iteration is not required because in second iteration, everything becomes 255 now. So we, we need to stop at the first iteration. If you stop at the first iteration, you will see that the, uh, you know, wavelet value uh, is highest in the disk region. So, from this, we come to learn that, you know, second level of decomposition is not required for us. Now, we can perform a simple thresholding right now. Resultant image is equal to CA greater than equal to, let's say, 250, because we know the value is 255. Figure. I am show R. Now, this is specifically is the disk region. Uh, but it is spreading a way too much. So let's make it say greater than or equal to 253. So those values which are 255 should be detected as the disk. This is much more uh, uh, perfect now. But how you are going to put this image on the top of your original image? So as you know, CA, if you look at the size of the CA, it's 128 by 128. Whereas the original image is 256 by 256. So all we can do is, R is equal to I m resize R comma 256, 256 because wavelet transform not only filters the image but also uh, down samples the image. So let us increase the size of the image. Once we increase the size of the image, this is where it is detecting the disk area. How do we know that this is whether this is correct or not? This R is a binary image, right? So now let's convert this image into double data type and original image is IM. Let's say IM1 is equal to double of IM, okay? Now let us multiply the rate channel with R, okay? So I am two is equal to I am one and I am two of colon comma colon comma say red channel is equal to I am two of colon comma colon comma one dot star R because the result will be in double. Let us convert it into unsigned integer eight data type. 
once we convert it into unsigned integer 8 im2 is our image with disk localization so what we did we data of so what we did we took an image we performed wavelet transform got the thresholding got a mask up sampled it after up sampling we multiplied that with the red channel of the original image so what would be the result surprise where is oh uh, i'm sorry im was converted into gray scan only im org is equal to im okay let's say im org is equal to im im1 is equal to di double of im or g such that we can show the disk area on the color image itself where is it im2 okay let's resize the image let's resize the image before showing itself because i was converting it into grayscale and then resizing this is the area this is much more perfectly detected plus r wherever your uh, this thing is there what do you call the disk area is there it is going to mark the specific area but 